Hey there everybody, this is Ira and I'm back here with another new little indie game. This is Nelly Kutalot, Spoonbeaks Ahoy. Uh, before I go any further, I want to apologize for my voice. It's a little creaky, it's a little croaky. Um, I'm gonna do the best I can, please forgive me. I hope it's not too harsh on your ears. Anyway, uh, Nelly Kutalot, some of you may have heard of Nelly Kutalot because there's a, another game called uh, Nelly Kutalot The Foul Fleet, which is a longer game, a point and click adventure game about a, a, a girl pirate, and um, that one has been out for a couple years, and apparently this one, Spoonbeaks Ahoy, actually came before that one. Uh, it was released in 2007, and this is an HD remaster of the original game. Now, apparently this game is shorter, so it's very cheap. It's only a couple of euros if you're in the EU, and I'm sure it's a comparable price wherever you live. Um, but one of the cool things about this is that they're, they're donating all of their net proceeds to charity, to a British charity called uh, the RSPB, which takes care of birds. So uh, keep that in mind as you're watching. If you like to look at this, this looks like something that you would like to play. Uh, it is not expensive, and uh, your money will be going to charity, so that's cool. Uh, I am playing this blind. This is my first time opening up the game here. I will, I will, I am noticing that the, the mouse is a little bit sluggish. It's not moving as fast as usual. I'm going to take a look at the settings. Can we change the mouse? We cannot change the mouse. That is a shame, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna have to- I'm just gonna have to deal with that, I guess. Uh, we got the music volume, we got the master volume. Uh, there is a voiceover, apparently this is part of the remaster, that there is full English voice acting. But, apparently there are only two voice actors. There's Nelly, who, uh, is- is the main character. And then there's another person who does all the rest of the voices. And that sounds hilarious, so I definitely want to try that. And let's get into it. New game. Hi there. You look like you're about to start playing Nelly Kutalot Spoonbeaks Ahoy HD for the first time. Thanks. I'm Alistair, I made the game, and I wanted to tell you that this game features a very cheap voiceover featuring me, real Nelly, and literally no one else. Think of it as a director's commentary where I do a series of questionable accents. In answer to your question, yes, this feature can be turned off, but for now, sit back, not that far back, relax, and try to enjoy Nelly Kutalot, Spoonbeaks Ahoy, HD. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, that was great. Um, thank you very much uh, to the developer of the game for that lovely intro. Um, compliments on your hair. Your hair is awesome, and uh, I'm I'm into this already. This is definitely gonna be my kind of thing. So we join the fearsome pirate Nelly Kudalot in the midst of a turbulent sea battle. Let's do it. like trouble. Waken Nelly Kudalot. Nelly? Sleepy time now. Nelly! Avast! Steal yourself afore turning to behold the spectre of the dreaded Captain Bloodbeard. Ugh. Truly many tides have come and gone since I danced the hemp and jig. So tis the fate of us all. So tis the fate of us all. But now, Captain Kutalot, I return from the depths of Davy Jones's. A brief reprise only to see ye. <gasps> Me? Why? Especially... My time above the waves grows short, but I tell you this. In life, I was the scourge of the South Seas and champion of all creatures sweet and defenseless. That mantle I now pass on to ye. Really? What does that mean? Yonder island be a salty backwater called the Barony of Meath, once famed for a mighty fleet of saucy birds called Spoonbeaks. I love Spoonbeaks! For many days now, not a Spoonbeak has been seen on the Isle of Meath. <gasps> what? Oh no! They the birdies! They have vanished, every one, and that be a terrible omen of ill fortune. They must be found. Accept ye the quest? Heck yes! Aye aye, Captain Bloodbeard. I'll conjure a ghostly current to carry ye to the shores of Meath. Unravel the mystery, Nelly, and save the Spoonpeaks. I give you these words. Look to the Baron. 
Sounds like a clue. Farewell. Look to the Baron. Bye. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I'm wearing my adventuring corset. Oh, God. All right, cute little intro there. It's Nelly time. If I want to explore this island, I'll be needing a map. That's fair. A uh, map sounds useful, so we've got the barnacle. Got a burb up there. There's a it cactus. It is fun to stroke cactuses, but I'm on a mission. <laughs> Fair, fair. All right, let's go and check out the I think barnacle. It might then. fall down if I touched it. Okay, can I walk here. There we go. So it seems like it's just really point and click. I don't have any options or anything. Cursor is changing depending on what I can do. I see I have an inventory up here. Oh, and there's hints. That's good. It's always good to have a hint system in a game like this. Let's see what's inside the barnacle. Let's see, there's more of these, uh, these, these vo vocal talents. I can't take it. It's screwed to the wall. <laughs> I wasn't suggesting that you take it's it, Nelly. Galley. Goodness. I wonder if that's the famous Da Vinci Code. <laughs> oh, that one took me a moment. The famous Da Vinci Code. I don't want to just tear it off the wall. Oh, that's the map. That's the map. I'm just like randomly clicking around as I, I as I tend to do. The shelves. With uh, video games. There's a map. Can I take that one? Can I take this map? I don't know, miss. That map be steeped in nautical history and pirate lore. It don't belong in the hands of landlubber Grockle. It says a tourist's guide to the barony of me. <laughs> okay, take it. Now I can explore the island. Yes. Mission accomplished, Captain Rhea. <laughs> Ahoy, fellow sea dog. <laughs> uh, what? I was laughing at the idea of you being a pirate. Oh, <laughs> don't you start now. That's laughing. That it be, little miss, not a pirate. I am a pirate just like you, except cleaner and prettier. Less <laughs> smelly, without that world-weary glaze to me eyes. <laughs> you aren't nice. No, I'm a pirate. Shut up. I'm the fearsome pirate Nelly Cootalot. I'm so piratey, I can... Oh, here we go. Splice a main brace in under 15 seconds. Drink a barrel of grog in one swig. Fart the alphabet. Whip up a delicious ship stew. No, 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 no. Beat an octopus at arm wrestling. Oh, I don't need to impress you. I don't need to impress you, but I want to see what happens if I claim I can drink a barrel of grog in drink one a swig. Drink a grog in one swig. I drink two before getting out of my hammock. Depressing. Oh, goodness. I'm so piratey, I can... Oh, do I get to go through all of these? Splice a main brace in under 15 seconds. I can do it in 10. Curses. I'm so piracy, I can... I don't believe him. Fuck the alphabet. Lies. I don't even know the alphabet. <laughs> that is pretty piracy. I'm so piracy, I can... Whip up a delicious ship's stew. That sounds delightful. The secret is adding jasmine just before the boil. Hmm. I'm so damn piracy, I can... Beat an octopus at arm wrestling. Well, let's arm wrestle right now. Uh... I think I left my <laughs> ship's headlights on. Oh, come on, so can take him? Piracy, I can... Oh, I don't need to impress you. I'd better haul anchor. Huh. That's right. Indigo tankard. Oh, look, an indigo tankard. It's a different color. <laughs> okay, I guess that's it. What's in here? We get the pirate toilets in here? Avast. What? If you want to peruse the fabulous rogues gallery, there be a mandatory minimum donation of one dollar. Eh, this is like Soviet Russia. How? Well, there's a lot of vodka about. Interesting. Okay, we've got a map. Graffiti. What's graffiti say? Something incomprehensible is scribbled on the wall. It's just crazy gibberish. Hmm. Could it be a clue? Map. Barnacle and Harbour is where we are now. Barnacle is a tavern brimming with authentic ambience. Winner of the coveted Flea Pit Award. Market Street, a bustling commercial venue now with over three shops. Ooh. Toll booth. Anyone wishing to visit Saul Island must first pass our traditional toll booth. Okay. Can I just walk places or do I have to it use the map? Is fun. I guess I have to use the map. Asked and answered. Let's go to Market Street. Let's go find some birds. I want to find some birds. I'd love to tear it down and stamp it into a papery mush. But it says, defacing this poster is an offense punishable by transmutation. Transmutation? Also, it's too high. <laughs> Goodness. It's fine where it is. 
you're one of the most fun lapsing, things about uh, piracy supplies established 1735 one of the most fun things about games like this is just clicking on all the stuff all kinds of piracy kit inside hello Bjorn and Olafsson Alreet Maris Captain Nelly Kutalot at your service pleased to be meeting you Welcome to Bjorn and Olafsson the one-stopping shop for all your nautical needs. Our motto is being, you can't be a pirate without B.O. Kachi. Who is Bjorn and who is Olafsson? He is Bjorn, and I am being Olafsson. <laughs> okay. You fellas seen any spoon beaks? No, but we are seldom leaving the shop. So you don't know anything about what's happened to them? I am being very sorry. Tell me about the Baron. Workaholics. Don't be mentioning that man in here, please. He is driving away our customers with anti-pirate laws and beatings. However... Yes? Well, we were hearing a rumor. Yes? The word is being that the Baron has a shady operation going. Oh, yes? On Sour Island. Of course. Yeah. What's new in stock? Oh, so many things. Powder monkey grooming kits. Main brace splicers. <laughs> nautical memorabilia. Brass monkey warmers. The eye hook. Half price <laughs> wash buckles. A range of pirate DVDs. Ooh. And new Hunnish deck swap. Wow. Tell me about... Oh my goodness. I feel like I could spend the whole day just going through this. I'm going to leave this because I feel like this is going to be flavor. Toronto. Goodbye from me. Leave it in case Goodbye some of you folks uh, who are watching decide to play the game. You have some fun things to check out. It's just for show. There's no treasure oh. in it. See, is there anything that I can my really take here? It would be easier if I just sliced up everyone who got in my way. Mm -hmm. But I can't afford a sword. Dang. I don't have any money, do I? Coot. Hello. Aren't you pretty? He sounds angry. All right then. Maybe I'll just leave him alone. Um. All right. How do I leave the shop then? Ah, there we go. <laughs> Store of Babylon. Let's see what's in here. Baron Widebeard reads Widebeard behind the beard. But it ended well, and I had some. So this kick. is the Baron. Ahoy there, Baron. Hello, lass. Are you enjoying the reading? Hmm. <laughs> um, well, if this guy's the, the key to whatever's going on, maybe I should be nice and I, lie. Yes, I've been told my clothes <laughs> is powerful yet soulful. Brilliant. Like Sean Bean. Exactly. What brings you to my barony? Burbs. Spreading murder and mayhem across the high seas, staging military coup, or I'm a no good. I'm a, I'm a no good thief. I, expect I had a feeling. It <laughs> doesn't matter what I say. Everyone wants a piece of the baron. Is there anything you want to ask now you've finally met me? What do you know about spoonbeaks? Hey, let me speak. There are no spoonbeaks in the barony of Meath. But. Good day, madam. You're not very helpful. So, you're promoting a book? That's right. Wide beard behind the beard. The life story of me, Baron Ironfoot Widebeard. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna leave the rest bye of this bye for bye. now as well. Imagine that. A game like this, I don't wanna. I don't wanna dig too deep into it, especially since I know it's a relatively short game. What's all this hoo-ha so about? Let's Baron just get little bits and pieces. Oh, the Baron's here doing a reading of his new book. He gets right involved in his reading. Is the book any good? An instant bestseller. Impressive. Uh, not really. Beardor banned me from selling any competition. <laughs> All other books are over in the freebie basket. Ooh. Where's the freebie basket? I'll take a free book. Bargain bin. Free books. Nice. I think I'll have this one. It's a book about birds. Yay. Can I look at my book about birds? Oh, I've got, oh, I've got a spade. I've got a map. I've got a book. Book. Um, 
rubbing them together didn't do much. Aha, uh -huh, that's for combining. No, I don't want to combine. I want to read. And then I said... I can't use that here. I can't read in the bookshop. <laughs> Fine. Alright, hook a duck. Looks closed. This is also closed, I don't know. There she blows. Did you say something? No. <laughs> what do you know about spoon beaks? What are they? Some kind of boat shoe? You're not very no, helpful. They're birds. Big old birds. Big old mysteriously vanished birds. <laughs> oh. Never heard of them. Sorry. Really? Hmm. They used to live on this island. Young lady, I am a baroness. I have no time for bird spotting. What are you busy doing if you're a baroness? What are you doing here? I'm a fabulously wealthy aristocrat. What do you think I'm doing? Nothing. Making charitable visits to local invalids? <laughs> no, you dimwit. I'm shopping. Mm -hmm. What are you shopping for? I'm shopping for the latest fashions. Or I would be if this damn store hadn't closed. Tragic. I hate to think that this outfit might be out of style. No, <laughs> oh, it is. It looks great. <laughs> Maybe. At least standing next to you will make me look better. Isn't As she pirate, nice? I imagine you're happy wandering around like a ragged dishcloth. Absolutely. As Baroness, I have a responsibility to look stylish. It must be Check hard. Check you out. Okay. Well, I'm gnashing. Oh, how horrible. <laughs> no, I mean I'm going. Oh, how marvelous. Hurry <laughs> now. Lovely. It's on the notice board. It's covered in notices. Lost peg leg answers to Stumpy. Last <laughs> seen in the gents at the barnacle. Interesting. All right, let's take a look at one more location. Toll booth. Blind Jimmy Thimble. Like you already, Jim. Ahoy, matey. Well, hello, sweetheart. What can blind Jimmy Thimble do for you? <laughs> this feels like a bad question to ask somebody who calls himself blind Jimmy. Have you seen any spoon beaks lately? I ain't seen nothing lately. <laughs> Yeah, it's a funny thing, though. Yes? I work here all night and all day. From time to time, I hear bird squawks drifting over from yonder island. <gasps> really? From Seoul Island? That's right, honey. Hmm. Interesting. Are you a musician? Oh, nothing so grand. I'm just a fellow with a banjo. I'm like a the musician to me. Here. Will you let me past? Afraid not. Dang it. I'd love to help you, gal, but I can't let you through without a gate pass. Hmm. How can I get a gate pass? Truth be told, Baron Widebeard is the only soul in Meath who has a pass. One time, the tourist was going across all the time, looking at the funny little men over there. Then, about a month ago, the Baron withdrew all the gate passes. Ain't that a thing? Why would the Baron be interested in the island? I can't say. People used to say a great treasure was hidden somewhere on the island. Perhaps he's looking for it. Hmm. So the Baron has the only gate pass. Sorry, honey. Please, will you let me pass then? I can't do it. I need my job. Well, if I got Baron Whitebeard's pass, then would you open the gate? I guess so, but I don't know if it's safe over there. Don't worry, Mr. Thimble. Nothing frightens Nelly Kutalot. What's that about funny little men? Yeah, I never seen him. Tourists used to <laughs> love blind? going to see those little guys. Then a leper colony sprung up and the tourists stopped coming. A leper colony? Hmm. Yeah, the Baron used it as a reason to take back all the gate passes. Hmm. And there was another thing. What? I only know what I heard. There is a magic man on Saul Island. Ooh, a magic man? I hear he works enchantments near old Saul Mine. All right. Bye, Jimmy. Got Come all kinds soon, of information. Honey. So, um, obviously you gotta get a gate pass. I'm sure there's all kinds of fun, uh, fun puzzles along the way. But I am going to probably finish up the, uh, the video here. Again, just because I don't want to spoil too much of a game like this. Because if you get it and then you have to go through all the same stuff that you've watched, you know, that might be a little bit boring or frustrating. Although you can click through to skip things, so don't worry about that. Um, but I think that's enough to kind of uh, give you an idea of what the game is like. 
and what the humor is like. Uh, I like the voice acting, by the way. If the developer happens to watch this, you did a nice job. I like all the voices that you did. Lovely. Um, so I'm probably gonna keep playing this on my own, because I want to find those spoon beaks. But uh, if you are interested in getting this game, you can check the description below this video for a link to the Steam page. And again, it's, it's, it's not expensive, so if you're interested, give it a shot. It's for charity. It'll make you feel good inside. And uh, if this isn't your cup of tea, if you don't want to play a game like this one, then don't you worry, my friends, because I will be back soon with another new indie game. And you never know, that one might turn out to be your new favorite game of all time. Thanks so much for watching, folks, and I will see you next time.